Okay, so last time we learned um, some of the notes and some of the general rules for saxophone playing. So this time I'm going to try and educate you more on um, some other technical things that you need to do. The first thing is um, that beginning piece that I just did. Um, you'll notice I had two different ways of playing. One was um, each note had its own kind of defined quality. It was like... Um, and then the second part of the piece, or like the second half of it, was like... Um, that's called tonguing and slurring. The first one is where you tongue each note, and that makes each note separate. So um, for this, what you want to do is you want to um, have put your uh, mouthpiece in the position that you had before, and then play a note, but right when you play the note, instead of just like blowing air into it, you uh, just do a T sound. So it's like... So your tongue should be on the reed, and then you just go T, and then the air comes through, and then that kind of articulates the beginning of the note. And that's how you do like a tongue. And then slurring, um, what you do is at the beginning of the bar line, or beginning of your slur, you tongue that first note, and then you just play all the notes after it without tonguing them. So um, you could do like, or you could do, so that's the difference between tonguing and slurring. What we're going to do today is we're going to fill out the bottom of the register. Um, let's see, so our next note that we're going to learn is, okay, um, F. It's below G, and um, it's one, yes, okay, one, two, three, and then four. So, and then E is one, two, three, four, five. D is one, two, three, four, five, six. And C is that very last key. Don't press that one, press that one. Okay, so now you know all of the basic notes for, basically from, you know a full octave, so you know a full major octave, so you know. But I'm going to teach you two end notes. Um, first one is a D, it's a high D. It's, um, like you're playing a low D, like I just taught you, but then you turn around and you press this key, which is the um, octave key, which brings your saxophone up an octave, depending on what keys you press in front. Um, so that's a D. And then um, you're also going to learn E, which is just up one. So that's very intuitive. So those are just... Um, so that's... And then that's right above where your high C was originally, so... So all together, you should know. And I now um, have posted a link that way, that way, um, in the sidebar for sheet music. I think it's Baba Black Sheep. Um, and it's a little easy, but it goes over the basic principles.